What's good everyone? I hope y'all are having a lovely day so far. Before we begin though, I want to give a quick shout out to Glitchbum for giving me my first ever comment on this channel. My first comment and it's positive, encouraging and most importantly it's not from a bot. Also for a part of one YouTuber like me, it really means a lot to hear and see the phrase hope you get more subscribers soon. So again Glitchbum, thank you for taking the time out of your day to write that comment. I truly truly appreciate it and I hope you have a fantastic day. Alright everyone, welcome to Cloud Climber. Now from this theme page it says this game is only about like what 10 to 15 minutes long. So it will be a short experience, something that I can relate to. Now that could also mean that this could be my first ever one take gameplay on this channel. <coughs> so are you guys ready? If so, let's get climbing. I don't know why I say it like that. Another day has arrived. I'd best get my water before going to work. War? Buck your war. This game is too quiet. I need to add some background music. Anyway, let's read this note. Stand Diary, page 1489. I may need to get to the neighboring tower in the future, but I know the other builders keep the entrance to the bridge lock. I saw a key on the table at the top of our tower a few weeks ago before I went to get more building supplies. I haven't been up there in a few days, so I'll need to check if it unlocks the bridge door. If the other tower ever become vacant, I might need to get across, so I'll have to keep this in mind. Construction on the last tower stopped weeks ago. What happened? I can only assume that the builders have met their fate by now. Uh. I believe it's safe enough for me to go and continue building higher yet from where they left off. I'll need to travel across the other two towers to get there, but I'm sure I can find a way. Great and terrible diary, page 69. For months now we've been building faster than ever, yet it seems as if every time we complete a new level, the clouds race higher and higher. I could have sworn we were close to them decades ago, but we're still not done yet. I can only hope that we're getting close. Signed, Bunny the Great and Terrible.
Joey Diary, page 420. <laughs> Ali. I've been building all day long. Bernie the Great and Terrible has been sitting on his butt, acting as foreman. In other words, he doesn't do any work and drinks all our water. I've started locking my water chest, just in case he really does think he's above us all. Golly, would you look at that? It's really beautiful though, isn't it? Goodness me. I really like the vibe of this place. Solitude, the chill and peaceful atmosphere. But I wouldn't go as far as calling this my dream environment yet. Because I've gone up two stories now and I still haven't seen the toilet condition. Did they just point it outwards? their balcony and like yell timber also from a construction perspective is this tower legit Etna Diary, page 36 Can't believe today is the 100th anniversary of our tower. I know others have been building much longer. And now I wish our grandparents had taken this whole thing more seriously. 100 years ago they decided things were getting dangerous. But why didn't they see the problem 200 years ago, or even longer? I'm so glad they started building but I just wish we had seen this coming. Guys, can I be honest with you guys? I don't feel like reading anymore. So, is it okay if I pass the torch to you guys to be in charge of reading duties, starting the next one? It's Thank been you. quite some time since I was on the second tower. I haven't crossed this bridge since the builders became greedy and took the supplies that were meant to come to our tower. Just like all the other towers, its inhabitants quickly grew desperate and aggressive. Now it stands empty. There's more room for me then. I really like the artistic style to this game. Pretty cool. installed a rope cart on this level to get to the third tower. I should be able to use it to get across.
you guys know the history channel TV show alone I think I would do great in that show not at current condition though just to be clear I mean after I supply myself with at least eight months to a year of bushcraft outdoor wilderness experience now I would say my strongest advantage over the contestant would be my lack of human connection in real life because in that show I mean no shade to the participant but in that show by episode 3 by episode 4 you can see at least one or two of them you know they started to miss someone back at home and that's not going to happen with me bro the only way I would get eliminated is either A the medical staff deem I'm no longer viable to compete or B the woodlands inhabitant got me lacking so yeah long story short for as long as modern nature allows me to be in her vicinity I believe I can and I will thrive on that show imagine during audition the interviewer asked so can you tell us more about your experience in the jungle and then I answer oh you know I have 100 plus hours of gameplay in green hell <laughs> what the fuck I haven't played the game actually I'm thinking of buying it someday I could almost call this place beautiful if these dust storms weren't so suffocating I hope I find what I'm looking for at the fourth tower. Looks like I'll need to fix this bridge. It's hard to believe that I'm the last one here. I never thought it would end like this. Makes you wonder what the whole point was in the first place.
Son of Gilka. Who? God complex much. So fucking annoying, bro. Grab his dick and twist it! Push him off the tower. Stop. This kind of reminded me in the Walking Dead series, there's this one character, I forgot his name, but he has similar characteristic to this Zilka dude, acting like a messiah and all that, being a preachy ass mofo. You don't need all that gimmick, just look at Rick, and he has a tiger as well, like how did that come about, a freaking tiger bro. You know what's worse, if before the zombie apocalypse, He's a normal chill dude working as an accountant and then afterwards decided to change his demeanor, his persona and the way he talks like oh, I'm your savior I'm like bro sit down bro This place really is beautiful, even with the dust storms. It's peaceful in a way. I've been working on that tower my whole life and never once stopped to appreciate what we'd spent our lives building. We only looked up to the clouds hoping we'd someday reach them so we could prolong our lives. But now that everyone's gone, I know any attempt I might make at accomplishing that would be futile. Rather than spending the rest of my life building a tower, maybe it's time I took a break. It's been a long time, but I think I'm finally done. There you have it folks, that is the end of the game, so what do you guys think about the message of this game? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Alright everyone, thanks for your time, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day, and good night. Earlier in the video I mentioned about getting caught blacking by woodland creatures. Now imagine, instead of some apex predator that caught me, it's squirrels. Because they kept getting caught in my snare, so the squirrels, they band together like Ewoks from Star Wars. And they have a community meeting, saying enough is enough. So they hired a top military strategist and one day decided to Gilliver's travel me and send me to the Gulag. Talking about Ewoks. Aren't Ewoks an interesting creature though because they look like teddy bear, right? But they are also fierce warriors. Imagine you're in a forest and then you stumble upon one of the Ewoks and then they'll be hostile with you with their spears and whatnot. You look at them thinking 
I can just punt this little shit across the motherland, but then again, why would you do that? By the way, quick question to hardcore Star Wars fans out there. Do they have a law where Ewoks are being hunted down to become, I don't know, like exotic pets or something like that? Or wealthy alien children? Oh, I got one scenario. This is gonna be worse, so bear with me. Ewoks are being hunted down, taxidermized, and then sold as collectible teddy bears. Damn, that's gnarly, bro. Okay, I think that's enough for now. Also, I don't have anything more to say, so ciao.